guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you guys about a bright lipstick. I'm wearing some, obviously, right now, um, and I always get a lot of questions about bright lips. So let's just go ahead and jump into the video. So first off, I want to talk about my little tips when wearing a bright lip. Uh, my first thing is to use a lip liner. It will save you. So this is the one that I use today. This is by Milani. It's one of their color statement lip liners and I use the shade Fuchsia. Uh, Milani makes really great lip liners. So does Essence and so does NYX. I would say that NYX and Milani have the most color selection if you're going to do like a colorful lip liner. If you want a nude lip liner, I would go with Essence. So anyways, um, I would definitely use a lip liner. So, and make sure it is sharpened. Nothing is worse than having a dull lip liner because the point of a lip liner is to make sure that you are lining your lips and you're getting that nice clean line. Um, so if your lip liner is really dull, then it's just gonna look really messy and it's gonna be really hard to get that nice clean line that you want. But if it's sharp, it'll be super easy. So that's my first tip. Also, if you wanted to make your um, lipstick last longer, I would fill in your entire lips with your lip liner and then go over it with your lipstick. That'll keep your lipstick lasting longer. My next tip is to keep the rest, keep the rest of your face um, very minimal. So I, I like my rule is pick one thing on your face and have that be the focal point. So either, you know, like your eyes can be super smoky and then maybe you'll do like a nude lip. Or if, you know, you want to do a really bright lip, you keep everything else super minimal. Today, I did really simple eyeshadow, Ariel's Infallible Iced Latte, which I showed in my Ulta haul, I'll link down below. Um, I used that all over my lid and then I used some browns from my chocolate bar palette from Too Faced and just buffed those in the crease just to give my eyes a little dimension but I didn't do any eyeliner or anything like that just mascara um, just to keep the look really simple and I also I did a little blush obviously and some highlight and some bronzer and stuff like that but I just like to keep my eyes really simple when I do a bright lip and then if I do my eyes you know really smoky I'll do a nude lip so that's my other tip is to just keep everything else minimal so your lips can be the focus. I guess now we'll just go into like my top picks for bright lips, like my favorites. The one I'm wearing today is from Maybelline. Um, it's from their Vivids collection and this is Hot Plum. I love this color and this formula you guys is really, really nice. Um, they have a ton of bright shades in this Vivids collection so if you are looking to go and get a bright lipstick, I would definitely start with the Maybelline Vivids because they have a huge color selection, the formula is great, and they're just good. Next one I have is also from Maybelline. Um, this is from their MAC collection. This is called All Fired Up. I was wearing this, I think, in my May favorites, but it's like this really pretty matte coral shade, and matte lipsticks will last longer than cream lipsticks will, like on your lips. So if you are going to be out and you're going to be like drinking a lot or eating or something like that, I would maybe go for a matte lip instead of a like cream formula because it'll last longer. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to talk about my all-time favorite form of lipsticks. <laughs> so I love like the format of these. This one is from Kardashian Beauty and it's one of their Enjoy Sticks in the shade Shocking Pink. I get so many compliments when I wear this. And then I also have one of the Maybelline Creamy Matte um, pencils, and this is in the shade Very Misbehaved. And then I have one of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Gossip. So what I like about these is the fact that they're just like a jumbo lip liner. So it's super easy to apply. I say if you're like just starting out with wearing bright lips or like not even bright lips, just like lip colors. If you're gonna wear red, if you're gonna wear a deep berry, if you're gonna wear, you know, a purple like I have on, if you wanna wear a hot pink, definitely start with this kind of format because it's so easy to apply. So they're just like twist, they all are like twist up pencils and, um, you know, they're just really easy to, this is Kardashian Beauty Shocking Pink right there. Um, but they're just super easy to like get on your lips and really get that clean line so if you don't want to go out and buy a lipstick and a lip liner I would say just start out with getting something in like this format because it's really easy to apply so this one is from Maybelline very misbehaved creamy matte pencil I've talked about these a bunch on my channel 
And so it's that one right there. Really pretty. It's like, I love shades that are pinky reds. I don't know. I don't know why. This one is kind of cool. This is like a pinky purple. This is from ColourPop, and this is the shade Gossip. It's one of their lippy sticks. It's like a pinky purple right there. The thing about this shade is that it kind of does make my teeth look yellow, um, but what are you going to do? Shades that have like a lot of like pinky purples and oranges and stuff, they tend to make your lips look, or your lips, they tend to make your teeth look yellow, but if you get shades like this that are super like rich, almost bl like have a blue undertone in them, um, it'll make your teeth look whiter. So that's another little tip. Um, and then for some other drugstore picks, I love the um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipsticks. These are only like $1.99. So again, if you're just starting off with wearing bright lips or you want to try like some different colors, either, you know, just go with these. These are matte though. So either go with these or go for the Maybelline Vivids. But, um, this one is from, uh, Wet n Wild and it's called Pinkerbell. It's so stinking pretty. It's like this bright coral color. I love that one. These are a hair drying though, so I would wear like a lip balm underneath of them. But, I mean, for $1.99, it's totally worth doing that, and their color selection is really great. And then this one is from Revlon. It's one of their super lustrous ones and their cream formula. And this is like straight up orange. So if you like like orange lips, you'll love this color. It's called Kiss Me Coral. And their cream formula is so nice. So it's right there. And the thing about like Revlon lipsticks is that they've been around forever. Like I remember my grandma having them and stuff. So you know that they're good because of how long they've been around. So I just really, really like this formula a lot. Um, they're super creamy and yeah, I love this orange shade. It's so pretty. So if you are wanting to try to wear a bright lip, but maybe you don't want to go with something as pigmented as what I'm wearing today or as pigmented as one of these, don't worry. I have a little bit of suggestions for you. Um, I would go with something like the Revlon Lip Butters. Um, this one is from Clinique. This is their Chubby Stick Intense. Or this one is from Rimmel. It's one of their Color Rush Color Intense Lip Balms. These are really nice because what they're going to do is, one, they're going to feel less heavy on the lips. They're going to feel more like a balm. They're not going to feel like a lipstick. Two, they are going to pack a punch of color, but it's going to be still more sheer than a lipstick. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll swatch them on this hand. So this is the Revlon Lip Butter in um, Lollipop. Now, out of the three that I just mentioned, this one is, like, definitely the most pigmented, like, a lipstick. But you can just, like, sheer it out and it will be, um, more sheer. But it does feel like a balm, so I really like that one. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick. So you guys can see they're more like a tinted lip balm instead of a, like, lipstick. So, and then this is the Rimmel one. This one is definitely the most sheer out of the three, but it's the one on the end right there. So, like I said, one, these are really great because of the format. They're like a jumbo pencil, so they're really easy to apply. Two, you're going to get some color, but it's not going to be like, whoa, in your face, like, ba-bam. I love this shade from Rimmel. It makes it look like you just ate a red popsicle. It's really pretty. So I like those for people that are like wanting to get their feet wet with bright lips. If you don't want to go for like the super matte, bold lip, try one of these first. Get your feet wet with it. Warm it up, like warm up to it a little. And then when you feel comfortable with that, move on to lipstick. And if you never feel comfortable, then wear a nude lip every single day. Like who cares? There's no rules to make up, like whatever. And like I talked about earlier in this video, like yeah, my tips are to keep everything else minimal when you're wearing a bright lip. but. Honestly, if you want to do a really smoky eye and a really bold lip, do you, boo. Like, rock it out. I don't care. But those are just, like, my preferences, what I like for myself. So those are kind of, like, my tips and tricks and top picks for really bright lips. Um, I think bright lips are super fun in the summer and in the spring. And then when fall comes around, I love to do, like, really deep lips, like a burgundy or a dark purple. 
Lipstick is just something that I love. It's so fun. It's so easy to switch up. You can wear like three different shades in a day if you want. Um, and it's really easy just to take off and then put on a new shade. So I love lipstick. It's so fun. So thanks for hanging out with me guys and talking about lipstick with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!